Hey guys, welcome to part three of my making a Discord bot in Python YouTube series. In this video, we're going to be going over how to create commands. So what are commands? Well, you can think of them sort of as like an event because an event is a piece of code that is triggered when the bot detects something has happened, right? Well, a command is a piece of code that is triggered when a user tells the bot to trigger it, right? They send a quite literal command or an order to the bot essentially saying, hey, I wanna run this command, can you do it for me? And then the bot goes, uh, can I? If it can, it does. That's essentially a command. So with that in mind, we're gonna create our very first command. So how do we do this? Well, first we need our function decorator, similar to the one we have above our event here. We are just going to say at client.command. And we need to have a pair of parentheses here at the end. Why do we need that? Because there are a couple of attributes for our command as a whole that we can change. So for example, uh, we could set um, whether a command is hidden. Let's say you're making a command that you want only um, people who you know, maybe have worked on the bot to know exist, right? And you don't want the general public, um, you know, maybe other people who have invited the bot to your server to know that a command like that exists, you can hide it. Or you wanna set an alias, you know, multiple ways to run the same command, which we'll actually do later in this video, um, you can set that too. So again, you need that there, and I will show you how to use it when we set an alias for a command that we're creating later in this video. It's just a fun one too. So. Next thing we need is our function header. So we say async def and then the name of our command. So by default, the name of your function is the name that you will use to run the command. All right, the name of the command that you will use with your command prefix. I don't know if I explained that perfectly. Name the function what you want your command to be. All right, that's basically it. All right, so we're going to be creating a ping command. So we are going to say async def ping, all right? We need our parentheses there and our colon there. So if you remember from my last series, if you guys, um, excuse me, if you guys did not watch my old series and you're new to the channel, something like that, you can skip ahead to when I start working, uh, working on the rest of this. But if you remember from the uh, last series, um, in the async version of Discord PY, we had to go into these parentheses here and set past context equal to true, right? Well, in the rewrite version or version 1.0, context represented by CTX here is passed in automatically. So you don't have to worry about passing context in or forgetting to do that or anything like that because it's all there automatically. Just make sure you have this uh, or you just have a, a, a parameter set to represent context as your very first one or as the very first one, the very first one, and um, you should be good to go. Just make sure you have it there or your commands, you know, you guys might be using the wrong parameters within your commands, et cetera, et cetera. So context is passed in automatically. That's my point there. And I think I might've confused a couple people there. So that was the end point that I was trying to make. <laughs> All right, so we have our command created, or sorry, we have our function created. So this is now a working command, but it doesn't do anything. So we wanna make it do something. We are now going to make it make we are now going to make our command make our bot reply when we invoke the command all right so we are going to say await ctx again that is the context that we have obtained here ctx dot send and in the parentheses here we are going to say pong all right so if you may as you may have guessed this line right here makes our bot say or when the command is run, the command, the bot will say pong. Geez, I'm stuttering so hard today. But let's see, let's see. So if we run this, bots online, if I type dot ping here, pong, all right? As you can see, it worked here. And we have ping, which is the command name. If you remember, I said the function name is the command name. And then as you can see, when the command ran, it sent pong using the method send from the context object. All right, so that's essentially it for the ping command. However, I'm going to uh, I'm going to also make the ping command uh, show the latency of the bot just to give it a bit more functionality. And because some of you guys might be like, "Yo, what the heck? You made a ping command and it just says pong. That's that's stupid." 
I'm pretty sure I had a couple comments like that in the, in the last video I made. So I'm just gonna make this an F string, and then we are going to use client.latency. All right, and that's essentially the ping. The only problem is it's, uh, it is a value given in seconds. So if you guys, you know, maybe play a couple games or something like that, or have seen your ping anywhere else, it's usually measured in milliseconds, right? So how do we get it to milliseconds? Well, as you may have guessed, just multiply it by a thousand, right? Because there's a thousand milliseconds in a second. And then, and then, geez, I'm stuttering so badly, please excuse. And then we are just going to round it off. I could even put MS there so that people 100% know that it's in milliseconds. So if we run this now, let's wait for the bot to be ready. Yep, and go back here. If we do ping, pong, 51 ms. So that is the latency of, of our bot. And, uh, and that is sort of our first command. And we've given it a bit of added functionality by adding that in there. So now we can check the ping anytime we want using our ping command. All right, so now we're going to create something a bit more fun uh, now that we know how to create a command. So client.command async def and this function is going or this function this command is going to be an eight ball command right so if you've ever had a magic eight ball you know you ask it a question shake it up and it'll it'll have something up there saying oh yeah sure it's gonna happen or no it definitely won't or something like that right so we are going to make the eight ball command however there's a problem here if I wanted to make a command eight ball where it looks like this Actually, you can see here from the syntax highlighting, we can't do that. And if you guys know basic Python syntax, you cannot name a function starting with a number, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put a little underscore there just to sort of say, okay, you know, make this a valid function name and I can tell it's eight ball. I could just type it out or something like that, you know, eight. But if I type it out like this, for example, I mean, it's kind of pointless because it's longer to type out and I could just set an alias, which is what I'm gonna do anyways. So I'm gonna say underscore eight. And then here, I'm going to say aliases, make sure you spell that right, is equal to a list of strings. So within this list here, I'm going to say eight ball. Now what this will do is all of the strings within this list can be used to invoke this command. So if I put something here like, I don't know, test, then I can use dot test to run the exact same command. All right, so what do I wanna have here? I need to have my context. I need to have, uh, I wanna have a question because I want, I want my command to say, you know, dot eight ball, uh, will my YouTube video get lots of views? <laughs> I don't know. We'll try that one actually. And the way I've set it here, um, this here with the asterisks here, allows me to take in all of the rest. So you'll see, you'll see. It'll allow me to take in multiple, uh, or what would be multiple parameters as, um, as sort of one, or multiple arguments as like one argument, right? Parameters, I believe is the wrong word to use there. But let's get into that. So first things first, I have a list of responses for an eight ball, which I pulled off of Wikipedia. It's a, it's a rather sizable list. I believe there's 20 of them there. There's uh, 10 positive ones, five neutral ones, and uh, five uh, like negative ones. So these ones here are no. Uh, these ones are like, you know, try again later kind of thing. And uh, all of these ones here are, yeah, you know, you're right, it's gonna happen, I don't know. Um, but that's essentially that. Uh, the question here we're going to use when we give our reply. And, uh, but what I need to do is I'm going to import random here because I want to give a random response. And I'm going to say await ctx.send. All right, so the exact same thing that we did up here, right? I'm going to make an F string and I'm going to say question is equal to or not is equal to, but question, the question was question. And then on a new line, I'm going to say the answer is going to be random.choice. 
and then we're going to get it from responses right here. So just like that, let's double check everything here is looking good. So we have our aliases, eight ball and test. I can probably remove this one. Actually, no, I'm going to have it there for demonstration purposes. We'll use it twice. Um, eight ball, um, again, we cannot have it starting with an eight, right? So we use the underscore there. Uh, we take in a question, we have a list of responses, and then we essentially spit out a random one. All right, so let's run this. Hope there are no errors. Bot is ready, cool, cool, cool. So let's test out the first alias we have there. Actually, it's kind of covering it. Let's move this down. Actually, we don't really need to have that up. So we have our two aliases. Is that good? Just off to the side, you can see some of the code and everything. So we have our two aliases, eight ball and test. All right, so if we do dot eight ball and we say, will this YouTube video get uh, lots of views? Question, will this video, YouTube video get lots of views? Answer, yes, definitely, yes. And that's 100% random. So you guys better like this video. Hit the like button, thank you. Now we can try the test command um, or the test alias, are you sure? We'll put a question mark there too. Concentrate and ask again. All right, maybe one more time. Test, are you sure? Yes. All right, this is looking good, this is looking good. But um, that's essentially it. We've made a little eight ball command. I've showed you guys how to use aliases. I've showed you how to create commands in the first place. We've made a simple command uh, sort of showing off, or not showing off, but that uh, displays the bot's latency. And we've created a fun command that you guys can implement in your bots and just sort of mess around with your friends with, I don't know. Uh, but that's that. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Uh, sorry for stuttering so much. This is like the 15th take just because I've, I've constantly been screwing something up to the point where I just don't like it, um, which is usually why these videos take so long to make. I probably started this at like 12. No, not 12, like one. So I've been trying this for like an hour and then I still have to make a thumbnail and everything. So again, thank you for watching. If you guys stuck around to the end, you guys are the best and leave a like if you liked it comment down below what you want to see in later videos i'll have plenty of links to the documentation the official help server and my help server and yeah hope you guys have a great day but uh i'm out bye